morning mathematicians and welcome to our math workshop today I want to teach you that mathematicians will represent up to 120 objects with a written numeral so in doing this lesson we're going to follow three steps first we're going to count the objects we're going to fill in the place value chart and then our last step, we're going to write the number on the line. Let me remind you that mathematicians will represent up to 120 objects with a written numeral. So let's count the objects. So we see some birds settled on a tree. And we also see some birds flying around. So we already know that each group has what? Has 10. So let me ask you, how many 10s do we see? We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 tenths. How many 1s do we see? 6 1s. 9 tenths. And six ones represent what number? 96. Let's continue. Remember that we're going to count the objects, fill in the value, the place value chart, and then write the numeral, the number. So let me ask you again. So we have groups of mushrooms, and then we have some single ones. How many groups of tens do we see? On the top we have six. On the bottom we have what? Four. So how many groups of tens do we see? Ten groups of tens. How many groups of ones? How many ones? Sorry. We see four ones. Ten tens, four ones will give us what? 104. Excellent. Looks like someone is trying to get her hair done. So we're going to count the objects, fill in the place value chart, and then write the number on the line. We have someone with bows in her hair. We know that one 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 head has how many bows? Ten. So how many groups of tens do we see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven groups of tens. How many ones do we see? Did you say seven? You are correct. Eleven tens. And seven ones gives us what number? What the number does it represent in a written numeral? 117. So we have base tens block. And we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to count the objects, fill in the place value chart, and then write the number on the line. How many tens do we see? They can get a little tricky, so it's best to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven groups of tens. So eleven tens. How many ones? Five ones. Eleven tens and five ones is what? One hundred and fifteen. I believe we have more. Here we go. Let's count the objects. Fill in the place value chart and write the number. How many groups of tens do we see? Did you say 10? Think again. How many? Double check it. We have five, five, and 
two more. So what do we have? We have 12. And how many ones do we see? Zero ones. 12 tens, zero ones gives us 120. Remember, mathematicians, that you can always pause the video if you are not understanding. Let's count the objects and write the written numeral. So how many groups of tens do we see? So we have some daisies right here. And we know that each group has 10. How many groups of tens do we see? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 groups of tens. How many ones do we see? Three ones. 11 tens, three ones gives us 113. Mathematicians, that was our lesson representing numbers, representing um, up to 120 objects with a written numeral. First, we count the objects. Second, we fill in the place value chart. And our last step, we wrote the number on the line.